Oh, here we are. Sorry. What's up? It's Hayden. I'm recording another video of The Binding of Isaac. This time we're going to be doing a challenge. We're going to be doing the Bloody Mary challenge. Which is a pretty funny one. Well, I don't know about funny. It's pretty difficult. Pretty cool. We have the item... Oh, I don't know what it's called. Now that I think about it. But it makes it so it drains all of our red hearts at the beginning of the next floor. And instead it translates them into a damage upgrade. Since we're playing as Tainted Bethany, we cannot get any soul hearts. So essentially at the beginning of every floor, we're going to be at half a heart. And it's not that big of a deal on the lower floors, but it still is your one heart from death, you know? Definitely not ideal. So we're going to want basically just any stat ups. Try and get our DPS up. Anything that like would give us invincibility would also be really nice. I don't know why I used that on this room. We're also just going to need a lot of red heart drops. Like little Chad would be amazing for this run. We cannot afford to drop child's heart. Because we're going to be getting a lot of our damage from the, the bloody cross. I think that's what I'm going to call it for now. does give a lot of damage, but at the cost of all your red hearts and no availability of soul hearts, it's pretty tough. But we do get... Ooh, what is that trinket? It's really good. Sigil of Baphomet. We get the Sigil of Baphomet by completing this challenge, which is really awesome and I want it. So we gotta make it happen. Speedball? Not terrible, but certainly not ideal. We'll head down. And there you see it. We're also get a nice speed upgrade, apparently. We're really fast now. Goodness. Oh! <laughs> That's alright. On to the next one. At least we didn't get very far. I've already tried this challenge a couple of times, and I have not beaten it yet. It's a toughie. It's kind of like when you're playing as the Lost. Like one bad room at the wrong time could end you. No matter how good you've been playing. Oh. Pretty cool how that guy just thread the needle, huh? Bomb would be useful. Or a key. And before we get latch key from Pen. Ba doing doing doing. There we go. HP, I'm not sure how I feel about it in this challenge, I'll be honest. There's a couple bombs. Don't feel like trying those pills. No way of getting into our library, which is unfortunate. That's not our secret room. I don't think we want Guppy's Collar. We're not going to be doing a lot of devil deals. Okay. That, uh... Eternal Heart's really big, too. I guess it could be here. 
it is there. And we'll head on down. Got a lot of HP. I'm not sure how actually. I think it'll wait for the Eternal Heart to pop. Yeah. It just does it immediately. We really gotta focus up so we get a red heart drop. And even still, after that, we need to keep it up because we need to fill up our HP as well so we can get our damage on the next floor. Because regardless, we're going to be resetting back to half a heart. So it'd be pretty important to get our damage as well. Also, yeah, there's no item rooms, as y'all can see in the top left. No Ipecac or Pyromaniac gonna save us. Or, well, I guess Brimstone. There we go. Key would be nice. Oh, almost got me. Getting a lot of our hearts back, which is good. No keys, just bombs. Perfect. And your boy can't find a secret room to save his life. There we go. Blighted ovum. Not the worst boss in the world. I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, neither of these items are worth a thing. Wonderful. <laughs> we'll head on down. Uh, we should have went to the cursed room. That's all right though. Bag of lunch, it's not terrible. You don't have room for it. Cool beans, man. Can't find any secret rooms. Awesome. We're no longer one HP from death. Which I frequently find is a good thing to be. Good spot to be at. My friend Jamarcus is making food right now. I don't think you'll be able to hear him, but just in case you do, he's kind of coming in, coming in and out of the house. He's grilling in the backyard. Well, that was a little scary. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and pop the hermit card. We'll buy four and a half volt. This four and a half volt's pretty good. We could definitely find another space bar item that's better than this, and it'd be awesome. K 
carrion queen, dude. My arch rival. I hate carrion queen. You have to be so patient with her, man. Oh. Just glitch yourself out on a red poop. Maybe there's something I'm missing with how to fight her, man. Thank you, dude. I... Well, didn't mean to take both of those, but now we have them. Just want a death's list. That experimental treatment was actually really good for us. Nickel for my troubles. Awesome. Time to head on down. <laughs> Floor has not been too bad for us. What an amazing. Ooh, cut it close there. That was an H. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dang it, man. I'm recording a video. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was my friend Jamarcus. He offered me some of the food he made. He doesn't know that I'm busy right now. Gosh. How embarrassing. I wouldn't be surprised if y'all all unsubscribed from my awesome YouTube channel. We definitely want 9 volt. 9 volts is a good one. Don't think we'll be able to get it, but maybe. Oh, there's a poop in front of me.
Pow, 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 pow. Down goes Plum. Another library we can't access. Wonderful. This is in our seeker room, huh? I don't know where that is, because it can't be here. <laughs> we went down, down, down. The flaming ring of the cellar, too. Oh, wonderful, man. Gosh. I'm gonna have a rigmarole. These awful rooms. Pretty good start. Get two magicians there, aka one magician, because we can't take both. Goodness, the first floor seeker room is impossible. Guy literally jumps over my shot. Oh yeah, Duke's gonna get blasted. Nice, that's perfect. Stats up, plus HP up. Why is this guy so fast? Report that guy. See if we can get a heart here. Nice. And some pennies. And we will not be attempting that. I hate Widow. Pink Widow's the worst. I don't know how we'd manage to get it, but boy, um, Spoonbender would sure make this run awesome. <laughs> Nice. Oh. Cool. 
Sweet. Bumped into the explosion. That was kind of funny, I suppose. We're going to be awfully low on damage on this next floor. Yeah. It's okay. Watch this. That'll make it worth it to go in our shop, actually. So I'm going to head that way. I'm going to take fanny pack. And I hope we can get some good stuff from it. Obviously, I don't want bad stuff from it. Not a lot of red hard drops on this floor. Gonna make this floor awfully tough for us. Gonna blow this guy up. Nice, that was well worth it. are going to go in here because at worst we're getting a full heal. I don't know why I thought there'd be anything there. It's a dirty room. Silly me. Nothing going in here. <laughs> what do I think? Uh, philosophy? Kind of a whack idea, you know? You're trying to prescribe how all of the human race acts because we're all one species? Well, maybe it is a smart idea then. Because you can do that for pretty much every other animal. Or just how humans perceive life and can like I don't know. I'm in a philosophy class. And it's just crazy how the different philosophers try and argue for specific things. There's like, obviously, utilitarians. I'm sure y'all know a little bit about them. But uh, their whole deal is they like to, they like to, their like, life's mission is to make all of the different people experience the most amount of joy by any means necessary. So like if 99% of the population of the world would be as happy as could be, but the only way to do that is to torture the remaining 1%, they'd be like, oh, yep, go for it. There's no immoral actions. There's just only the outcomes. Which is just kind of obviously crazy. It can be excessive and unreasonable at times. Gotta stop the banter. Oh my goodness, this guy. 
Who farted? Who let the frogs out? Who? 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 Bye bye. That was a great fight against Bumbo for me. Pat myself on the back for that one. Um, we do still have our bed to sleep in, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in the cursed room. But yeah, there's like utilitarians. They're one of the different schools of thought, I guess is how you'd put it, that we've talked about already. There's like virtue ethics who are just like, oh, yep, as long as you're trying to better yourself every day, it's all that really matters. It's like, how? Uh, be virtuous. What does that mean exactly? Uh, like, do better. And it's just really vague. It's, oh, cool. Thanks for the, the tips. Now I can totally be a better person because you said... That I should be better. Hello. Fanny Pack's been an awesome pickup for us. It triggers for every uh, heart we lo have lost due to the Bloody Cross. So it pops like six times on every new floor we go to. Nice. It'd be cool if, if on one of these runs we got a really good space bar item. Or just really good regular items. That'd be dope. Like, give me brimstone. Give me brimstone and I'll stop complaining. Boom. That's all you gotta do, game. Here's a library. I think we're going to stick with the Book of Shadows. Little Steven's a good temporary familiar, though, for sure. Hey! Haha! <laughs> we have golden bombs. I didn't need to do that. Dang. Do not want curse die. Oh, there goes our deal. <laughs> Forgot there were spikes. Oh, that guy made a crazy sound. Sounded like a really big frog or something. Maybe like a lemur. Mama Mega. Mama Mega's really good. Wish we had the school bag to carry it with us. Because unfortunately, it's just not worth us giving up Book of Shadows for. Virus helping us out there. We need to be careful of spikes so we don't lose all our, all of our, so we don't lose our eternal heart. Yeah. 
justice. Nice. I think we'll head down. I'm satisfied. Good floor, good ending. Check here for a second secret room. Nothing. Well, good for it. We can stay hidden. Hopefully Fanny Pack can start paying out with some red hearts. There we go. Dude, old bandage is like a one run. Why did it hit me for a full heart? Ay, yeah, yeah, dude. That's so upsetting. Well, if you're still watching, you watch me get my butt whipped for 30 minutes. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you all in future videos. See ya.